Well, hey, everybody. Um, just knowing that there's so much going on right now, and the more I delay in getting the news out, the more complicated it seems to get, and my goodness. All right, so let's start, and I'm going to wait a minute here to get through the anagram, all right? So I will fill it in with some information as of June 2nd today, all right, you all know that the now they are going after another election as Israel has not been governed by anybody. And today was the final day. And they're trying to oust that Netanyahu out. And they're trying to bring in somebody uh, from the right wing, the middle, and an Arab-Palestinian nation that I had no idea also was involved. So I can put that video on the Watchman Report and under the description box, as well as a few articles that I'll be reading here. All right, so I'm thinking, my goodness. Okay, this sure does remind me of the scripture, and we're going to get to that as well. So seeing all this happening and uh, knowing that this is the fifth time, that's grace, right? All right. Uh, and also I talked about the fact that, and also this is included in the Watchmen Report, that remember when Israel went ahead and took out that 9.3 mile um, tunnel and saying that, you know, they had called for a ceasefire, which really wasn't a ceasefire. It was just the enemy not being able to handle it and kind of like retreated and only to what exactly to rebuild and come back. Well, as of yesterday, it is proven that Iran is surrounding Israel, just as it is written, and that they're going to come against her. Um, everybody wants a piece of her right now, and Iran is like definitely ready to, to start something, which shows you what time it is, all right? So... Oh, my goodness. Okay, there there was so much. Let me fill it in with a little bit more here. There was so much craziness this morning. I got up really early, um, went outside. As I had ravens and hawks, everything fighting out there. I have it on video, but I didn't put it up. It, I couldn't make sense of it, you know? It was like, why were they fighting? Why were they squawking? In the meantime, there's birds singing. Um it was absolutely crazy. Molly started choking out of nowhere for nothing. I'm going, whoa, it's one of these days. All right. And I had, uh, yeah, gotten up early as I had intended to, or the intentions were, and the plans were made that uh, this was going to be a different kind of day that I ended up with. So that bubbles popped, and that's not happening. <laughs> and then do you ever feel like you're a punching bag and that you're everybody else's punching bag, and you have to draw that line and say, no, I refuse to get punched anymore. And it may not be a physical thing, because you don't have any black and blues on you, but, um, boy, emotionally getting beat up is even worse, and knowing where it's coming from as the enemy's trying to wear us down, right, is, makes it even more difficult to handle. Okay, saying that, Let's go here the professional way. I am so sorry, y'all. This is how we do it. All right. So I tweeted a few minutes ago here. It shows that breaking 911. Now we talked about all the enticing. We talked about the kids, the ice cream, right? The fact that they don't need parental consent. Uh, they're going to wait to this fall or their plans are. Uh, in order to do this, okay? And now we see that their Krispy Kremes have been enticement, uh, pay raises at jobs, even bonuses, etc. And we've also learned a lot about the shedding. We've learned a lot about what happens. And we've learned a lot about the phone sticking, the magnets. You know, hey, oh, okay. Does this not make sense to anybody? I don't know. I don't know. If anything was sticking to me, I'd be uh, a little asking questions. Okay, so I will leave this link in the description box as well, as I'm just going to skim through it. 
But it shows here that West Virginia is giving away guns, trucks, and piles of cash as part of the incentive. Um, so, says in order to rush this, is what they're saying. Primarily here, they're going to be doing a lottery starting on June 20th and run through August 4th. And the giveaway will include a $1.588 million grand prize and a 588 second prize. A right, and scholarships to any higher education institute in West Virginia. Custom outfitted trucks. <sighs> Weekend vac vacations at state parks, lifetime, lifetime hunting and fishing licenses. Custom hunting rifles and custom hunting shotguns. All right, that's definitely enticing there, right? Yeah. Okay, so anyways, Debbie, stay out. <clears throat> it's hard. It's very emotional. Um, the faster we get people across the finish line, the more lives we save. Yes, we're almost at that finish line, too, brothers and sisters. Hang in there. I'll call upon the name of the Lord. Shall be saved. Okay, so then he goes on to say that this is costing them a lot of money. And we know darn well that we've been to hospitals in my area and everywhere. And they're empty, so I don't know what they're talking about other than they're putting all this money out there in order to entice people. Because once they sign up on the uh Website here, I think it says, it talks about the fact that they get a $100 um, debit card or credit card or something between the ages of 16 and 35. Um, they can register online, receive a $100 savings bond or a $100 gift card, right? And then, of course, they get an entry into the big lottery where uh, I see that millions of dollars will be given. Okay, so, yeah, then I'm going to skip down here for now because it says here, oh, we know about all the enticing, right? It just gets worse when they come out and they say that this is a month of action to urge more Americans to get the snake bite before July 4th. All right, y'all need to remember July 4th. For a reason, okay? I'll be back later to share why. But I think many of your dreams and fireworks and everything else just sparking my spirit here. Are you getting the point? <laughs> no? Okay, so this includes free beer, child care, sports tickets. Don't forget concert tickets. We've already been up to that, right? For Americans to roll up their sleeves. Are they serious? They come right out and say this, y'all, okay? What's the best way to hide something? In plain sight. You know, everybody's always looking somewhere else, and it's right in plain sight. So, as Iran and all of them are getting ready to come in, okay? It shows here that um, thousands of pages from you know, whose emails here were published to the Freedom of Information Act. And what it says pretty much about it is, is they took all of this information and they're finding a lot of things um, out. And one of the biggest things that they wanted to find out was where was he during the peak of all of this, right? Um, as he was pretty silent and really not around, right? And of course, all these conspiracy theorists <laughs> come out and say they're in hiding or this and that and whatever. And his response was the fact that, well, he was just a little overwhelmed with all the attention he was given. Wow, crazy. All right, so let's go from there. You here. Okay, so Michael Four says, but in the last days, and we know we are certainly there, in the last days it shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains, and it shall be exalted 
all of the hills and people shall flow onto it. And many nations shall come and say, Come and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. And he will teach us of his ways and we will walk in his path. For the law shall go forth of Zion and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. And he shall judge among many people and rebuke strong nations afar off. And they shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nations shall not lift up a sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. But they that sit, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, and none shall make them afraid, for the mouth of the Lord of the hosts has spoken. For all people will walk, every one in the name of God, and we will walk in the name of our Lord God forever and ever. In that day, saith the Lord God, will I assemble her that halteth, and I will gather her that is driven out, and her that I have afflicted. And I will make her that halted a remnant, and her that was cast off a strong nation. And the Lord shall reign over them in Mount Zion from henceforth, even forever. And thou, O tire of the, O tower of the flock, O stronghold of the daughter of Zion, unto thee shall it come, even the first dominion. The kingdom shall come to the daughter of Jerusalem. Now. Why dost thou cry out aloud? Is there no king in thee? Is thy counselor perished? For pangs have taken thee as a woman in travail. Be in pain and labor to bring forth, O daughter of Zion, like a woman in travail. For now shalt thou go forth out of the city, and thou shalt dwell in the field and that shall go even to Babylon. There shalt thou be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. Now also many nations are gathered against thee. That say, let her be defiled, and let her eye look upon Zion. But they that know not the thoughts of the Lord, neither do they understand his counsel, for he shall gather them as the sheaves unto the floor. Arise and thresh, O daughter of Zion, for I will make thine horn iron, and I will make thy hoofs brass, and that shall beat in pieces many people, and I will consecrate their gain unto the Lord, for their substance unto the Lord of the whole earth. So I guess that's pretty much the scripture there that fits perfectly with exactly everything that's going on as everything is written and has come into pass. Praise the Lord. Which means that our redemption draws nigh because the wars and rumors of war have been for a long time. And in the Watchman report, it also mentioned that Libby is known to be the prime minister of security. Ooh, okay, that's because he's been trying to hold the peace for Israel for a long time. But they do not know the Messiah. They do not know Jesus. And the Lord just told us in Micah 4 that he will make them see. He will bring them to their knees and he will save them. All praise and glory to God. In the meantime, I will just say, this is Debbie from Texas saying peace out. Let's keep looking up because the king is coming. <laughs>